I'm at Club Motorsports in New Hampshire to show you the five reasons that the new Jeep Trackhawk is the most unnecessary SUV in North America. But for reason number one, I gotta get on the track. American consumers are asking for more power and a no compromise Jeep and that's exactly what they've got with 707 horsepower and a 0 to 60 mile an hour time in 3.5 seconds. Well at least that's the official company time however we managed to get 3.4 seconds before lunch. This is nothing new for Jeep, they've had performance vehicles in the past like the SRT in 2006. The official top speed of the Trackhawk is 180 miles an hour although I only managed 123 miles an hour on the track. The biggest engineer the engineering feat was to overcome the heat generated by such a huge engine. Now if you take a look at the front of the Trackhawk, you'll notice the fog lights are missing. They've been replaced by air ducts. That's because this vehicle needs to be able to cool a maximum temperature of 1740 Fahrenheit. And that is another reason why it's unnecessary. Aesthetically, the Jeep Trackhawk has quad tip exhausts in the back and those yellow calipers are not only to look good because when you go fast, you need to stop fast. This vehicle can go from 60 miles an hour to zero in just 114 feet. Scott Talon is from Jeep. Every segment in which we compete in, we provide the most capable offering within that segment. The exhaust has been especially changed to make it not only perform well, but sound great too. It's hard to tell this is anything but a regular Jeep Grand Cherokee from the outside except for a few subtle design cues. Inside, it's fully wrapped in optional Laguna red leather, carbon fiber accents, but the real meat is in the track pages, which allow you to record your zero to 60 mile an hour times and see everything you might do on the track. Now, one of the things I say supports this vehicle is completely unnecessary is the fact you just don't need this much power. the fastest, the quickest, the most powerful SUV ever produced. The sad part is Jeep will make less than 2,000 of these per year. The great part, this is something else to add to your shopping list when you win that lottery ticket. So the price of the track org that I've been driving, $99,965. That's just $35 short of 100,000. Is that necessary? No, it's not. Would I own one? I absolutely would. For OurAutoExpert.com, I'm Nick Miles.